Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, John Butter, the only YouTuber who takes his vitamins. Not today, death. So when Disney Plus started a couple months ago, I immediately signed up for it just to watch every single episode of That's So Raven. If you're unfamiliar with That's So Raven, that's okay because the plot is easily described in the theme song. Hmm. That'd be nice. It would. Best place to see trouble from. What do you mean? Oh, you make a good point. It's just about a teenage girl who's psychic, and sometimes she gets visions, and she tries to stop the visions from happening if they're bad. And most of the time, that requires her to dress up in disguise. <laughs> it's just a really fun, goofy, lighthearted teen sitcom that's fun for the whole family. And it was one of my favorite shows growing up. The show ran from 2003 to 2007, so when I was about nine and a half, to 14 years old. And funny thing about when I turned 13 is it was at that age that I decided not to watch any more of this Katie crap. I'm 13. I'm an adult. I watch sitcoms now. So any episode after July of 2006, I pretty much missed. So it was a lot of fun to watch some of these episodes for the first time. That being said, now that I have actually seen the entirety of That's So Raven from start to finish, I do have some notes. So number one, I understand that the actress playing Raven's mom, Takiya Crystal Kima, she had to leave the show after the third season because of some serious family issues. But the way they wrote off her character, they said that Tanya was doing a scholarship in England. Not even a specific city, just England. I mean, did she go to uh, London? Liverpool? Is she hanging out in the chimney sweep district? Learning sweep law? And they could have sprinkled in more stuff in the fourth season, like, oh hey Raven, how's your mom doing in England? Oh, she's doing really great. She's still getting used to the food though. <laughs> Get it? because British people eat nasty, gross food. <laughs> Spicy. But my number one biggest issue is the ending. I mean the overall series finale to That's So Raven. Keep in mind, shows like Even Stevens and Lizzie McGuire had movies to perfectly cap off the series. But then That's So Raven, which had an unprecedented 100 episode long run. The very last episode that was ever aired of That's So Raven was a very special episode about smoking, where Raven finds a pack of cigarettes in Corey's shorts and she's like, oh snap, is Corey smoking? And that's it. That was the end of That's So Raven disappointing. <laughs> it doesn't seem that big of a deal now that we have Raven's Home, which I've seen a couple episodes of and it seems like a pretty solid continuation of the series, but we didn't know that would happen over 12 years ago. I just feel like That's So Raven deserved a genuine finale, which is why I came up with one. Okay, so in the first episode of Cory in the House, Victor exposits that Raven is off to college, yet in That's So Raven, we never got to hear her talk about college or anything like that. So college would be the main focus of the finale. Okay, picture this. Raven, Eddie, and Chelsea are all set to graduate from high school. Please suspend your disbelief that Chelsea was able to graduate. Eddie and Chelsea, they both know exactly what they're gonna do. Eddie's gonna go to like Bay Area University on an athletic scholarship and then Chelsea is gonna go to this over-the-top uh, hippie environmentalist university where all the dorms are tense and the dining hall is like a big communal bowl of salad. But Raven, Raven is not sure what she's going to do. She could go to San Francisco University with a major in fashion design, or she could try and find a school in Seattle so she can be closer to Devon, or maybe just forget college and stick with her internship with Donna Cabana. All of this anxiety and stress 
messes with her visions. And all throughout the episode, every time she gets a vision, the picture is very blurry, the sound is muffled, you can't tell what's going on. And for the first time, Raven is just completely in the dark about what her future will be. And after having a breakdown, who comes to help her but Viv, you know, Viv. Raven's maternal grandmother from the season one finale, To See or Not to See. Side note, quick shout out to the uh, That's a Raven wiki, you are doing God's work. Viv makes the trip to San Francisco to help comfort Raven in these trying times. And that's where Viv gives Raven the overall moral to the show, which is a lot of the time in life, you're not gonna know where you're headed and it can feel scary, but as long as you're confident in yourself and as long as you have uh, a good support system of friends and family, you'll never go wrong. And once Raven calms down, she makes the right choice for herself. And in the last scene, when she's packing up to go to college, she gets one last vision, but we don't see what it is. We just see her reaction and her dad goes, Raven, did you have another vision? And Raven goes, yep. And you know what? The future's looking bright. Freeze Frame, executive produced by Vince Gilligan. <laughs> and that's my pitch for the That's So Raven finale. It might seem useless because the show ended over 12 years ago. And like I said before, Raven's Home has been airing since 2017. But you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and pretend like that was the actual ending to That's So Raven. Please let me have this one. All right, that's gonna do it for me this week. Make sure you smash that MF like and subscribe. And hey, why don't you go ahead and uh, comment what TV show you felt deserved a stronger ending? I really think that would be an interesting thing to read from you guys. You can also check out my Patreon, link is in the bio. And you can also gaze into the future. I did an e-boy move just now. I'm an e-boy now. Fun. It's not fun. Alright, have a great day, John Butter fandom.